je suis ravi euh, d'être ici à Paris. <rire> Quel souvenir gardez-vous de Madame et Servi I'm very proud of Madame et Servi. I'm very proud of it. Uh, it uh, not only changed my life, but uh, I got a chance to really apply all the things I learned in taxi to the show. And, uh, and I think we did a, you know, a, a good show. I think um, you know, one of the, the great things about it is it wasn't you know, preaching, it wasn't proselytizing, but there was a message. There was a message of love and a message of, of supporting each other. And, and um, I don't know, I just think that that's a good message to put out in the world. It's true, because uh, I always wanted you to be my father at this time. The greatest compliment people say to me, I wanted you to be my father. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Quel est votre premier souvenir de spectateur? When I was a kid, there was a place called the Casina, the movie theater on, uh, on Fulton Street under the L, and they had double and triple features. And you'd see Sinbad and the Seven Voyages and, uh, and Godzilla, silly movie, monster movies and stuff. I remember once going with my parents to see Can Can. You know, we sat in the balcony and saw Can Can, Frank Sinatra and Juliet Prowse. It was amazing. Quel film vous a le plus effrayé durant votre enfance? Scared me. Oh, well, uh, I think, you know what? I remember being scared at The Omen. Yeah. Do you remember The Omen? That was a scary movie. Quel est votre meilleur souvenir en tant qu'acteur? When I first got to Hollywood, I got a call from, uh, from Sammy Kahn's assistant, the great songwriter. Yeah. He said, uh, Sammy wants to invite you to a Christmas party. He wants to invite me to a Christmas party? I, said, I thought maybe he was trying to get the Danny DeVito through me. But anyway, I went. And I went to this party, and everybody from Hollywood was there. I mean, Gregory Peck was walking around, and, and it was so crazy, you know? And I end up, we sang at the piano, and, and after that, I started being in, invited, and I started hanging out with that... Uh, that group of people and, and it, you know, it, my timing in life has been very good. Quelle est votre réplique de cinéma préféré? I do, there's, uh, from The Godfather, a friend of mine, uh, there's a, the, do you know when, uh, when, uh, when Abe Vigoda is going to be, uh, they're going to kill him at the end and he says to Tom, uh, to, uh, um, to Tom Hagen, he says, Tom, for old time's sake, can you get me off the hook? And, uh, and uh, he says, can't do it, Sally. <laughs> and so me and my friend Al, we go, like, hey, you want to do it? Can't do it, Sally. So that became, uh, that's one of my favorites. Quelle est la chanson extraite d'une comédie musicale que vous préférez? I love, you know, I think of Hole in the Head. I think of, um, uh, geez, I, you know, the minute, I, the minute I leave here, 18 things will come to me. Uh, but I just, everything that... Uh, That Sinatra, I just was a big Sinatra fan. And you know, he did Who's the Boss? He did Madame Miserie. And you know what was great about that was my mother, my mother was a Bobby Soxer. She was a Frank Sinatra fan when she was a teenager. And uh, Frankie, and she uh, used to be crazy. And she used to say to me, when I was on TV, first after a few years, I, I thought, hmm, I'm on TV. And she would say to me, and she was 4'11", she'd say, big shot. When you introduce me to Sinatra, then you're a star. So I flew my mother out to meet Frank Sinatra. So I did it. I got her to introduce. And he was so wonderful to her, you know. He was, she couldn't talk for the first like half an hour. She couldn't deal with the <laughs> Quel acteur vous a donné envie de faire ce métier? You know, as a kid, I mean, I, you know, I loved Humphrey Bogart. I loved Jim, uh, Jimmy Cagney. And I loved Frank Sinatra. Um, I don't know, I think it's a conglomerate. It's a sort of a combination of a lot of guys. Brando, um, it just, and, 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 and Burt Reynolds. I mean, I remember Burt Reynolds was a, was a favorite of mine as well. Quel film vous fait rire systématiquement? Oh, uh, The Producers. The Producers makes me laugh all the time. And I got to do that on Broadway. Yeah. I got to play Max Bialystok on Broadway. Quelle actrice vous a donné vos premiers émois sur grand écran? I loved, um, I loved Sophia Loren. I loved Catherine Deneuve. I was on a show with Catherine Deneuve, one of my first talk shows, it was like a Merv Griffin or a Mike Douglas, you know, and Catherine Deneuve was sitting next to me, and she had glass high heels on, I'll never forget. And she was so beautiful, I was like, oh my God. Quel acteur auriez-vous aimé être? I think of the early Brando. I mean, that's, you know, everybody wants to be him. I think of Pacino. 
And think of, of course, De Niro. I mean, it's mostly the Italian guys, I guess. You know. Quel film emportez-vous tout le temps avec vous? Uh, you know, when I used to do, used to do, um, I, if I have trouble sleeping, I bring a movie. I used to bring uh, uh, Judgment at Nuremberg, <laughs> and, and it would put me to sleep. You know, I just put it on and I fall asleep. And I had it with me all the time. It was like a sleeping pill. It was great. Et enfin, que peut-on vous souhaiter aujourd'hui? I wish that in America that we could uh, come together and uh, figure out how best to educate all of our children, how best to, uh, to, you know, make people have personal responsibility and yet have some empathy for people that are having a very, very difficult time. Um, and I, I do wish that, uh, that in general, you know, there is a lot of good stuff going on. Très bien. Merci beaucoup.